Now let's uh, listen, let's listen, to, listen uh, to the actual thing. The actual enigma. Here we go. Right, now scrub it, clean it, put it in right now, Squ squeeze it. Oh, there. That's it. In the Right in the corner. There we go. Now do it, do it again. Do it again with a carrot. Put it in. Squeeze it. Oh, there. Oh. Oh, there it is. Ah. Ooh. Touch it gently. You just Touch it gently. Disgusting brute. That is revolting. What was that, Trevor? There are ten-year-old boys in the studio being forced to listen to that filth. What's wrong with you? It's not filth. Oh, it's touch it, simple. squeeze it gently, put it in the corner. Yeah, that's the way it's been edited. I wasn't responsible for that. Trevor, I've seen how you behave in campsites. There is a sound effect missing from that. Well, yeah, what is it? The sound of somebody crying, <laughs> which is no. what normally accompanies those sort of instructions there, there in your life. I don't like this. The sound of someone phoning the police. Trevor, put yeah, your I'll microphone do down. No, you're not Eddie Cochran. I, what are you doing? I'm thinking well, I am. This, I'm feel comfortable now. Um, no, there's a there's a motor. There should be a motor going on behind it. Lending. Okay. What? And that's part of the, that's an important part of the clue. Yeah. It makes it sound a little well, bit less weird. Well, you haven't even put it in. Trevor, if you, right, okay, if you know the answer to that, it's 64046. That's Trevor's Sonic Enigma. <laughs> Natalie's here. She won Trevor's competition last week. You're right, Natalie. Yeah, I'm fine. It's nice of you to come here. Why is it especially nice? Um... Because you came here all the way from bloody France. Yeah. Why is it slightly nice. disappointing? Because she didn't hitchhike. And because you painted your legs black and now I have to see it. We have to look hey, at your steady. blackened Sorry. legs, you oddball. <laughs> blame them, don't blame me. Nothing, th you For wanted your legs. Yeah, how can you blame yeah. other people for your own legs, Trevor? You take responsibility for your own anatomy. My little legs are all right. It's the fact that there's a deep purple colour that's disturbing. I like the fact that they're deep purple. You look delicious, Natalie. So, what was the? What did you get right last week? The Sonic Enigma wise. Um, it was New Young Pony Club. Oh, yeah, yes, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I remember that was another pseudo-sexual lot of rubbish that we had to listen to of Trevor sat in a room grunting and slapping. Uh, if you think you know the answer to this week's Sonic Enigma, it's on 64046, or you can email russell.sixmusic at bbc.co.uk. What kind of ranting have we had about vanity? This is from Tom Brown. In the name of vanity and new rave fashion, I spe spent last week convincing opticians down the high street that I was visually impaired and in need of extra large glasses to block out the sun. I was eventually referred to the Cardiff Institute for the Blind. Other institutes for the blind are available. Well done, Tom. I found out that I am unusually sensitive to many colours of light and needed the glasses in pink, yellow and smoke and soon to be green, orange and blue. All the, all the best, says young Tom. What? Tom, out of vanity, is going around pretending to be blind. Martha Owen has sent us a little message. She goes, Trevor kind of bullied me the other day, actually. He made me change my default picture on MySpace by blackmailing me. Trevor, is this true? Uh, I didn't blackmail her. Who is Martha? I did blackmail her, actually, yeah. yeah Who true. is this Martha character? She's just someone on MySpace. She's just someone on MySpace. Well, she's she's all any of them are to you, isn't it? No, she's Attention a very victims. intelligent young lady who uh, had a very unpleasant picture as her uh, icon. Right. I made a change. And you're the judge of that, are you? You're I certainly am. Well, as, as much as I hate to say this, we have to listen to his enigma again. Okay. Because you have to play it twice. Alright, oh, not yet, though. What, rules, no. BBC guidelines. Yeah, just play guidelines, it twice. mate. They're only a guide. They're only a guide, the guidelines. <laughs> they're just, you know, that, they're not, it's not written in stone, it's just a guide. Some things you can do, some things you can't. Never mind that little voice in your heart. Okay, there's an email here from Jason Skeen. Why the hell do you care what stupid hippie poncies think about bullying Cocky Locky? You don't have to justify your actions to those victims. He deserves all he gets. <laughs> More importantly, it's funny. Going back to the point of vanity, I have on more than one occasion visited an establishment so that I may have my back waxed, says Jason Skeen. Not the most pleasant experience and one I hope you never have the need of. The first time after the procedure, I couldn't help noticing the stark contrast between make back and my bum, or my bum and my back. So I thought that that might be a way to go. Knowing not when to stop was a conjury, my little body button didn't half sting. So this is about a story about a man who Disgusting. had his rectum waxed, it seems. Jason, you dirty devil. Bully boys and hairy back doors, he's entitled his own email. Oh. That's a good idea. Why don't we shave Trevor's body hair all off so he's all bald and it'll be easier to paint him? His, his hair just sort of comes off when you paint it. It just comes off on just the brush. Just off on the brush. Off. All the skin and hair just sort of comes off. It comes off all week. It's like it painting doesn't. a corpse. It does, it, yeah. It's horrible. Trevor, part of you is dying even before your brain goes. Yeah. It's intriguing to watch you decay on the show. So, should we have another listen to Trevor's Sonic Enigma? See what on earth yeah. this is, if you know Texas on Remember, there is a missing, a missing sound effect. There's a missing sound effect. Well, what, you do the sound effect now. I'll do the sound effect live. Right, well, okay. Go on, do right, it now. Right, now scrub it, clean it, put it in right now, S squeeze it. Oh, there. That's it. 
in the right in the corner. There we go. Now do it. Do it again. Do it again with the carrot. Put it in. Squeeze it. Oh there. Oh. Oh there it is. Ah, does it? Ooh. All right, we get the idea. Gently. It's oh. nauseating. Oh, Touch it gently. Trevor. Right, so if you think well, you know what that is, text on 64046 or email russell.6music at bbc.co.uk. What do you what? win if you get it right, Russ? You get to come here! No! Oh, what? You made a mistake already, Russ. What? We don't get to come here, they get to come there in Edinburgh. To Edinburgh! Yeah. We'll be in Edinburgh Festival. You can come down to the Edinburgh Festival, see us all performing there, it'll be a right laugh. Natalie, you're having the time of your life, and you love <laughs> I am, I am. Are you enjoying it here? Yes. Is it everything you'd hoped it'd be? And more. Really? Everything you'd hoped it'd be more? You've come, you live in France. Yeah. You listen to us online. Yeah. And then you came to see us here. Yeah. Why? Just for a laugh. Uh, yeah, for a laugh. It's nice, isn't it? I'm really glad that you're here. It's lining things up. Are you going to oh. go home straight afterwards? Later this afternoon. What are you going to do in the meanwhile? Look at Trevor angling for a date. <laughs> oh, stop it. Did, did you, um, did you come this silly. morning or did no, you? No, yesterday. And you stayed in the hotel? Right? Staying there, he's standing in, in his pants with his legs covered in black ooze, asking a girl, What are you doing later? <laughs> no, I'm just what curious. Is wrong if you want to come back to my place, no. them Italians are barely <laughs> twitching now. Stop I've it. polished them right off. Oh. I need more. Young, it's just grist to the mill for Trevor. Uh, Trevor, are these right answers? These wrong answers that I have to read out. <laughs> Can you tell us? Is okay. it "Touch" by Buster Rhymes? No, it isn't. Never heard of that song. Is it "One Two Three" by the Dave Clark Five? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> you guys and Trevor, I'm not vain myself, but then again, says Luke, I'm not a fan of a people who dress down like a tramp's a slave. He said Luke's really un PC, isn't he? He's a yeah. man. Tramp's not right, slave's not right. Yeah. So one day in woodwork class, this beastly looking fella, so one day in woodwork class, he writes it like that, don't he? Like yeah, it's he the narrative, so a detective novel. So one day in woodwork class, this beastly looking guy sits down next to me, probably hadn't showered, ever. He's, he even did ellipses there, ever. Yeah. So when he got up to get his book from the teacher, I splurted some paint on his stool. I hope that means his chair. He then sat down on it, and I hope that means his chair, and didn't realise until it dried, I hope that means his chair. It brightened up his bottom, definitely, I can't even pretend that that means his chair. Exhilarating, if anything, toodle ooh, says Luke. What kind of life do you live in? You've become friends with Luke, haven't you? Not really friends. More th enemies. <laughs> right. Hello, dog tanyans. Makeup was banned by my parents. You live with Quakers. Age 12, I tried to improvise mascara by mixing the contents of a fountain pen with oil from a sewing machine and am now clinically blind. Blimey, what a way to live your life. Is that true? Yeah. That's well, awful. It's probably not true. What about your little um, bit of vanity? When Which bit? When, well, there's a lot of it, but uh, your wash bag that you go on holiday with, yeah. I once looked in there. What was in it? Well, lots of stuff. Odd stuff. A yeah. spoon. I said, what's that spoon for? Thinking it was a drug thing. Yeah. He goes, no, nah, it's a little trick. <laughs> he uses it as a tongue spoon. What does that mean? What it means is oh, that you, you put every... <laughs> what it means is people have got a lot of scum on their tongue. Right, and if you don't well, use you a go tongue around spoon, cleaning them up like Jesus. <laughs> sometimes I have to scrape people's tongues before I can put my tongue near their tongue. Yeah, it does. And I also, my it's own not for tongue. Him. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Some people's tongues aren't clean enough, Matthew. It's shocking, in fact. Let's have a look at your tongue. Right now, I'd have my tongue spoon all over That's that. That's because I've had a Rennie. You've had a Rennie. I've had a Rennie. You, uh, friend to the French from <laughs> Matt Morgan, That's polishing them off. That is you who thinks Rennies are called Rennies. <laughs> have a Rennie. I'd like a Rennie. Give us a Rennie. Uh, other indigestion pills are available. So, okay, right, if you know the answer to Trevor's Sonic Enigma, or if you want to come in, in fact, like this competition, right, you can write us a limerick if you want. You can tell us the name of me and Trev's sitcom if you want. Or you can simply go, give me free tickets to Trevor's show. We are so desperate Stop to it, get no, people in to watch this farce of a career that Trevor mm, Lockett's conducting, that, we, that if you text us on 64046 and just name an animal or a colour or draw a picture of a family pet, anything, we will let you come and see Trevor Lock because quite frankly, you're being punished for your kindness. 64046 or email russell.6music at bbc.co.uk. What, what on earth should we listen to now? Stereo Total, I think, is next. Yeah, it's a good song, this one. Is it, Trevor? You I, selected this. And what drove you to select it, Trevor? Well, because the sound it made when it went into my ears made me feel really happy. Yeah, and I thought, right. I'm share this with and the normally, of course, it must have sound nice relative to the sound of Italian girls screaming or mice well. being crushed underfoot. 
No. Not screaming in Julie, pleasure, I Trevor. I let a mouse go in... yesterday. I let one go. What do you mean? You fed one back into the environment. Yes, you spared one. Yes. Like Barabbas. Yes. Like the Barabbas of the mouse world. I will let this one back. You had nine of them all on lolly stick crucifixes and you let one go to show clemency. What happened to the other mice and how did you have this mouse? I, I had it by the leg. Um, oh my god, you sick it thing. It's a cute little mouse. Why did you have it by its leg then? Because it got caught in the trap. You caught. I'm oh. still catching mice. Why are you doing it? He doesn't even put them in his house. He puts them in other people's houses, garden centres, everywhere he goes. He goes around luring For mice. A small in. feet, if you need your, you know, the mousing happening, I'll do it. Trevor, I don't like that for Trevor, do you need the toilet? You're up and down on What are you head. jigging about? Do you need the lavvy, Trevor? I'll tell you what. Go you... in the bin! Look, do one in the litter pile. Just let me explain. If you get face paint and you put it all over your legs and then you go up like that on your tippy toes, it feels mm. nice. It feels like you're wearing really tight stockings. You <laughs> dirty boy, you animal. He's got that Feel reference it. point. What do you do to that mouse? Why did you have it by its leg? Well, because I, I, I got it in the trap. It's a catch alive trap. And I thought, well, I'll let you go free, won't I? Why You'll let you it go it? free? Would you Why? lead it out by its hand? <laughs> Come on, mate! No, because I, I don't like them. They move too quickly and he's got a snail like So you tail. grab him by his leg? Yeah, it's awful. Disgusting. You sick, fella. disturbing. I let him free on the street. Raffi, what have you been? Raffi, lead singer in the band Sidekick. And a lyricist, Marley over there, guitarist, like all lead guitarists, is quite, is quite moody, which is a good quality in uh, a lead guitarist, you don't give a monkeys. Raffi, what do you think about some of Trevor's conduct? Do you think it's good behaviour? Bad. And, uh, <laughs> w have you got any advice for him? How he could possibly change? Raffi, don't feel under pressure just because there's a man looming give over up. you. Just give up, Trev. <laughs> just give it up. Do you think I should just let the mice population of London escalate willy nilly? Let it escalate! Oh, you're, you're have you ever sorry. caught a mouse, Raffi? No. Right, because you are a healthy young man. But I feed my snake dead mice. Mice. Good lad, fair enough. You know, so that's, that's natural. That's a natural right. pursuit. Yeah, okay. If you were to let that snake live in a pair of tights that you would then wear, which is the sort of thing Trevor would actually do, let me ask that you would be this. a problem. Let me ask you this, Raffi. Don't point at Raffi like that when you're in your pants. You feed, you feed your little snake dead mice. Let me ask you this. Who kills those mice, eh? How you do probably, How do they die? Do you <laughs> kill them? Do you supply pet shops with mice? No, I don't. I'm not saying it's me. But it is you. It is you. I'm posing a moral question. It is me. It's not a moral question. It's a boast about how many mice you can <laughs> polish off in an afternoon. Text us on 64046. Email us at at bbc.co.uk. Okay, we've got some wrong answers for the Sonic Enigma. Trevor, Trevor can you tell us if these wrong answers are right or wrong? <laughs> is it Smooth Operator by Sade? Correct. No, it isn't, Trevor! No, it's not anymore. I changed <laughs> it. How could it, it have used been a smooth be. operator? It's got the sound of yeah. Trevor Locke. I'm being quite smooth in it. Smugger, smuggling his parts around in his knickers. That's what you think. With, and then with a, an odd noise in the background. Oh. Dave used to be a roadie for Shardy. Dave, director of our TV programme, starting soon on E4, then on Channel 4. Uh, used to be a roadie for Sade, all the stories he could tell. Apparently, Sade said she's one of the most vindictive, cruel women in show business. Really? Uh, he's always said no. she's really lovely. No, no, no. So she's a lovely, beautiful no. person. Matthew, don't be so misanthropic that you want to hear that people are. It'd be nice, horrible. though, to hear, but, you know, it'd be nice to hear that she was horrible. Well, who could we say something horrible about, I wonder then? Where everyone we know is quite nice people, aren't they? Yeah. Alan Carr's going to do a phone call. He's on a train. He just told me that he's read the Mystic Meg, that his uh, star signs said that the Mystic Meg point. Why is he reading Mystic Meg? But he said that in Mystic Meg, it goes, Destiny points to a radio show. So he goes, Oh, well, so I thought I'd better do it. So we'll give him a ring in a minute. Wow. Then, it's odd, isn't it? Right. Uh, and this is from Darren. Uh, this is a wrong answer for the Sonic Enigma. Is it Do It Again by the Beach Boys? No. Is it really difficult this week? It's an excellent prize. It's Darren from Manchester. It'd be good if someone in Scotland won, so that wouldn't be such aggro, mind you. If but we will fly them to the Edinburgh Festival. We'll we? fly them there. Is that what's happening? No, we were not going to fly you to the Edinburgh Festival. We'll either. fly you to the festival. If you pay for your ticket. In a silver bird, I tell you. Yeah, but you will get accommodation. This person if says, you can find it. is it Lemon and Lime by Herman's Hermits? Yes, it is. Well done. Trevor, that is a wrong answer. Stop okay. wasting everyone's time with your deceit. Okay. Is it George Formby when I'm cleaning windows? Well says, done. Congratulations. Keith you Roberts are coming to the Edinburgh Shut Festival. your sarcastic little mouth. I mean it. I want that one to come. Who's it by? Keith Roberts from Grey's in Essex, where I'm from. All right, I'm Keith, very sorry, going, Keith. mate? You all right, mate? You weren't correct on this occasion. Trevor's psychotic enema, he's called it. Oh, that's Quite funny. right. Yeah. More wrong answers. Is it the song Orange Juice by Deep Purple? Congratulations. One yucky 
Wh- wh- who's it? <laughs> I don't know. They didn't put their name because they're embarrassed. Okay. Trevor's legs are actually deep purple. It, right, so there's loads of different wrong answers here. Yeah. Trevor, me and Matt think you should go out onto the streets. Why, why don't well, we... You're becoming my pimps now, are you? No. Matt, what should we do when we've sent him out onto those streets? What I think you've you got to put your jacket on so it matches your trousers. Okay. Which yep. is the whole genesis of this ridiculous idea. Ridic- ridic- yes, that is the genesis. He's coming badly dressed. Get out onto the streets, Trevor. Phone us up when you're out there. Go and talk to people. Kieran, go, go to a shop. Friend of the show go to a clothes shop, like a tailor's or somewhere or wherever's near. Yeah. 